So we're gonna get straight into this thing. Uh, Matt's gonna help me out today. He's gonna be doing the identical job on the outside that I'm gonna be doing on the inside. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all the nuts off the bolster springs, and then we can jack it up and split the suspension. There's no nut on that bolt. <laughs> okay, we'll fix that too. We're gonna strip everything down anyways. Uh, usually if the suspension's 15 years old, we like to take out all the bolts, clean them, put new ones in, check them for rot and rust and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take the bolster springs out first, take the straps off, and then we'll split the suspension apart, and then we'll drop the beams out, and then we'll go in there with a, a needle rattler and uh, clean all the scab and rust out of there. It's Gator Gun! So we're gonna use a socket, a universal and extension to get inside of here so we can actually get on the bolts. I'm actually just gonna undo this top one at the same time, let this hang down and then we can split the suspension immediately. There we go. None of my bolts moved, so I need to heat them all up. None of your bolts moved? Nope. Well, I was in the middle anyway. Oh, these? I got all those up. Oh, these ones? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I won't be able to touch any of those because mine are in such a shitty spot. Mm -hmm. Gotta split these off. Yeah. But I also got to get rid of the strap out of my way too. Here, let me split the, this one off and get the strap out of my way and then we'll cut the rest of them. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. All That's so rough. Okay, so that went about as I expected. So we're gonna split these aisle because I can't get on them and they're the wrong size bolt. So we don't care. We're just gonna split them and cut them out of there. So I'm not going to bore you with the other side, just do the exact same thing over there. Alright, 
we got to get this plate up on both sides. There we go. Well, if you push them in the top hole, it usually works good. Put them in? Yep, you should be able to slide that plate over. And then the bottom one's out by like a millimeter. Yes, sure. Just going to give it a little pry. Just like that. And go up top and give it a pop. So this side just fell right out. But the issue is, is that this thing is shoved over so far. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to stick a board power in between here. We're going to push the axle back a little bit, and it'll buy us a eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch extra space in here so I can actually get this out because it will not go out. Therefore, the new one will not go in. So here's our port of power. We're gonna stick it right up in here. All right, give her a couple pumps there. <laughs> there you go. actually see the amount of crust that's built up in here just peel it out with my hand so we're gonna go over everything with the uh, needle scaler and get her all cleaned up okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna strip the beams out and we got to undo these uh, one inch bolts Kind of figured that. <laughs> Go ahead and hit with the near chisel, see if you can break it free. I thought I dropped it there for a second. I didn't want that. Let's lift it back up. Shove some punches in there. Nice little ones. We'll knock the other side out.
The most important thing you can do is mark them. So what I do is I go by the casting seam right here, go down and then I mark it here. And that transfers my punch mark and then it allows me to mark it right here.